Australian politics is a vicious game and it's getting nastier. On May 18th, the country goes back to the polls. The choice for the next three years? Incumbent Liberal leader Scott Morrison or Labour's Bill Shorten. If Shorten wins, he would become the sixth Prime Minister in a decade. Since Kevin Rudd defeated John Howard in the 2007 general election, no one has lasted a full term. Rudd was knifed by Julia Gillard before he got his revenge in 2013. He was then beaten by Liberal Tony Abbott, who lasted two years before he was spilled by Malcolm Turnbull, who himself got taken out by Morrison. So why is Australian politics such a brutal arena? Part of the answer lies with the clash of personalities. Rudd had brilliant ideas but alienated his colleagues. Abbott veered too far to the right. Turnbull, on the other hand, was just too centrist for the Conservative Liberal Party. Australia's hybrid political system also hasn't helped. Three-year election cycles mean MPs are always campaigning rather than governing. In such treacherous conditions, any Prime Minister would struggle to perform. Things aren't getting any nicer, with US-style attack ads playing a big role in the current campaign. Even Tony Abbott, one of the most combative politicians in Australian history, has complained of a new nastiness. Polls show Labour holding a narrow lead, but recent history shows that even if he wins, he should watch his back.